morning everybody. In this video we are going to show you how we teach children to read in Airedale Infant School. So, in school we've chosen to follow the Read by Ink programme. The programme teaches children the sounds they need to read and decode any word. So we start to teach Read by Ink in nursery, right through to year one, which is in key stage one. We also teach Read by Ink Chronics to children who need to catch up or children who may be new to the English language. There's a video that's really useful for parents, so I'm going to play this now. This film will help you understand how Read by Ink Phonics helps your child learn to read quickly and easily. The new national curriculum ensures that all children are taught phonics systematically, which is just what we do. First, we teach children just one way of reading and spelling the English sounds. We give children a hook to learn the sounds by using pictures in the same shape as the letter. S looks like a snake. A looks like an apple. D looks like a dinosaur and M looks like two mountains. This means that children learn to read and write sounds really easily. Children then read books that are carefully matched to the spellings of the sounds they have been taught. So if they know these sounds, they can read these books. If they know these sounds, they can read these books. When children can read these stories confidently, we teach them more ways to read the same sounds. As they learn more spellings of the sounds, the books they read contain more spellings. The children do not read books that include the spellings of the sounds that they do not know. This means they build confidence quickly. We never ask children to guess words from pictures. We do, however, read lots of stories to children which contain all the spellings in the English language. Soon, they'll be able to read these stories for themselves. Children love reading because we've made it easy for them. In your child's school, all the children are taught with others who are learning the same sounds. They practice reading our storybooks until they can read them fluently, and then they take the same story home to read to you. They learn to form letters correctly and develop a strong handwriting style. They learn to spell many words correctly and have a go at spelling longer words. Children love writing because we've made it easy for them. Your child's school ensures that children learn to read and write successfully. There are lots of ways you can help at home too. Reading great stories aloud is the best thing you can do. We have films that will give you ideas on how to make story time with your child lively and engaging. You can watch our tutorials to find out how to make phonics lots of fun. These are on the parent section of the Ruth Miskin Training website. Join our Facebook page. This will keep you updated with tips and ideas for reading with your child at home. So that the books directly match to the sounds they know. 
The books they will read in school and at home use the sounds that they know to read, making this successful for everybody. Children will learn to blend, for example words like k, at. They will hear the sounds first, say the sounds aloud and then blend them together to read them. K, at. Cat, s, o, n, son. If your child's struggling with learning to blend, maybe you could practice doing Fred talk around the home or just saying, can you go and get your k out? Letting the children hear the sounds out loud and have to blend them together lots and lots of times will help them to learn to read. They are listening to the sounds and putting them together to blend them. In reception, later in the year when the children know a certain amount of sounds, we then start to introduce children onto reading their very first story books. This is really exciting for the children as it's their first time of actually picking up a book and accessing it with the print and the sounds that they know. So we start by learning children on to read a red ditty book. These ditty books are really short and, and like I say, use the sounds that the children know to read. In these red story books, the children will complete a writing sentence in school with us, but they will also have a book bag book, which directly matches to the sounds that they know and have used in this story to practice reading with you at home. So if your child's struggling with a particular sound, I would model the sound to them and ask them if they can try after you. For example, if the word was pin, if n, I would model it just as I have and ask the child to tell me what word it is. If n, p, if n, pin. Just encouraging your child to segment the sounds and blend them back together to read them. Here is a red ditty book. As you can see, the print is very successful for your child to be able to read. There are only three pages per story, so quite short, but again, ensuring that your child can build their confidence and become speedier at reading. Now, on to year one. In year one, children are learned to read, learn to read their set two and set three sounds. This is where children begin to learn sounds where they have two letters that make one sound, and we call them a special friend. Words and sounds such as A in play or A in cake. They are the same sound, but they are spelt or made up in different ways. A in play is A Y, but A in cake is a split diagram, an A E. So we have to teach the children to learn these sounds using the pictures and the rhymes to help them. I'll give you an example. A sound such as Oi, a toy for a boy. That sound is an O-Y sound, oi, toy, for a boy, just down here. Then, when we move on to set three cards, we also have the same pictures, the same rhymes, and the children learn to read both sides of the card. Oi, spoil the boy, oi, oi, spoil the boy, oi. Children then, when they learn a sound, will be able to apply this directly to their reading and to the stories that they access. So in year one, we continue upon the learning that the children have completed in reception. They will have read up to green stories in reception and hopefully ready to start with us reading more tricky, work, tricky sounds in books, such as pink story books, tab the cat. The text starts to get a little bit trickier, but again, as I've said, using the sounds that they know. These stories that we read in school are directly matched to the book bag books that come home with them. So if the child has read about a duck in a pond, the story that they bring home may be about a duck on a farm. So it's using the same kind of vocabulary and sounds that they've practiced with us in school to continue to practice and consolidate that learning at home with yourselves. So again, if the child gets stuck, I would ask them to spot the special friends and then Fred talk to read. So if the word was day, spot the special friend, A. The word day, d a. So special friend, Fred talk and read, is how I would support at home. In storybooks, especially in year one, children will ident identify red words. These are words such as the or said, words that you can't Fred talk out loud to read. So if I use my sounds, it wouldn't make sense. S aid, said, no, the word is said. So we do have to teach some children to learn to read some words from sight and we call them a red word. We say to the children in school, you can't read a red, you've just got to know it. 
So we use flashcards to help the children remember those words. Again, in the back of your book bag book, there are opportunities for you to practice reading these red words. So, when you are reading at home with your child with their book bag book, if they're not sure on spotting a special friend, see if you could help them. Where are the two letters that make one sound? For example, in the word night, there are three letters that make one sound, I-G-H. So I would ask the child to spot the special friend and then Fred talk to read the word. Ask your child when you are reading with them, right, what happened at the beginning of the story? Now what happened in the middle? And what do you think is going to happen at the end, before you read the end of the story? This is developing skills such as comprehension skills, checking their understanding the text, but also checking to see if they can predict what might happen next. It's also something you could ask at the end of reading the book. You could also ask your child what was their favourite part. Is this similar to a story that we've read before at bedtime? Or you could just simply discuss the characters. Who was the goodie? Who was the baddie? Why did you like that character? All that discussion around the text ensures that your child is understanding but also developing that love for reading because they're discussing and enjoying that with you too. So, Read by Ink not only learns our children to read, it also teaches our children to spell. So in Read by Ink, we use the sounds that we know to spell words. So if today I learned my children in my group the sound A, we would learn to spell words with the A sound too. We do this using our Fred fingers. If the word was play, I would ask the children to say the word out loud and count how many sounds they can hear. P -u -a. P -u -a. I ask the child children to keep saying the sounds and to pinch them on their fingers. When they pinch them on their fingers, we ask the children to then use how many sounds they have to write them down. So I would ask the children to write P -u -a. If they got stuck, I'd remind them to use their Fred fingers. P a. What two letters makes the A sound? And the children would write that down. If you are struggling with Fred Fingers, please speak to your child's class teacher and we will always be happy to discuss this further with you. There are also some helpful tips in the parent guide which is on our website. So, the importance of bedtime reading. Although it's important for us to learn children to read using the sounds that they know, it's also equally as important, if not more, to read to your child at bedtime. This may be a favourite story that you've had as a child. It may be a story that you learned from the library at Airedale or from our school library. It's reading children stories exposes them to a wide range of new vocabulary. They meet new characters. They will visit different settings, places they may never have seen or heard of before. But also, it exposes the children to a love for reading. So knowing that if you know your sounds to read, someday you will be able to read this story. It's wonderful at a point within year one where the children realise, oh wow, mum or dad, I can read that word. So the children will be able to start to spot the words within text and enjoy that with you at home. Maybe even help you out to read it. There's a lovely quote that I love just for you. The more you read, the more things you will know, the more places you learn and the more places you will go. So, what is the phonics screening check? In year one, children are tested at the very end of year one in June to check that as a school we have taught your child the sounds that they need to learn and to read any word. So, the phonics screening check consists of 40 words. 20 of them are real and 20 of them are alien. This is something that we do practice every day reading real and alien words within the writing time. But this assessment just double checks, just double checks that we are teaching the children the sounds that they need to be able to read. So, if you would like any extra support, we have a reading page dedicated on our website. If you click on the link, edalinfants.com. Read it.
reading and phonics is just here. When you open up the reading and phonics page, it tells you all about how we teach children to read and why we teach them to read in school. It discusses our provision in school, what our library areas look like, what our book corners in the classrooms look like, and it also tells you how we love to celebrate reading in school. At the bottom, it says, what is read writing? On here, these are all hyperlinks to videos like the one I showed you at the beginning of this video to show you what phonics is and to let you watch other videos explaining what phonics is, how you can support at home, and all about read writing. There are lots and lots of useful videos on the Roof Listing website, which is also on our school website. At the bottom of our school reading page, it also tells you what will be in your child's book bag. It'll show you and explain to you why we choose those story books. And there's also the links there for online reading and other useful reading links just there for you. Now, in school, our aim is to learn, teach children to read as quickly as possible, but then to keep them reading forever. We do this by ensuring that we read to the children every single day in school and teach them phonics every day so they learn to read the sounds that they need to be able to access any storybook. If you have any questions, please speak to your child's class teacher or make a telephone appointment with myself who will be happy to discuss this further with you. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope this was useful. See you later.